Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do a current faves video. So basically these are my current favorite beauty and hair products at the moment. Um, I have about 10 products or so, so we'll just jump right into the video. So my first favorite would have to be my Aveeno Active Natural Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I really love to use this lotion on my skin. I have oily skin, so I find that in the summertime, it's really good at moisturizing my skin without leaving a greasy residue. And it's perfect as a base under my primer. Now, for my primer, I use the Avon Magic Face Perfector. I really like it because it has SPF 20 in it, so it has some sunscreen protection, which is great for the summertime. And also, the way it applies, it's very filmy, and I feel like it creates a really good barrier between my face and my makeup. And because of the consistency of it, because it is like a filmy, velvety texture, it kind of fills up my pores and all my fine lines, and it just makes the makeup application really seamless. Now my next must have product is my eyebrow pencil and this is from the Essence line. I don't know if they have it in the States. I do believe that they do. This is in the color number two brown and I really like it because it comes with a little comb on the end so it's really travel, travel friendly and the good thing about it is I normally wear um, like brow pomade but the problem with the brow pomade especially in the summertime is because my skin is oily combination skin I find that it kind of starts to just not like it gets really greasy and it kind of starts to rub off during the day and especially if I don't think about it and I like scratch my face you can see a chunk of my eyebrow missing so I really like this pencil because it kind of just it lasts all day and no matter how many times you touch it it's not going anywhere and the great thing about this pencil is that uh, some some pencils that I've used in the past have left my eyebrow with like a gray undertone or it's too red. I like this one because it's just a neutral brown color so it really blends in and complements my skin tone really nicely. Now my next go-to is one that everyone uses and it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I wear the color Fawn. I just like the color, the highlight that it gives me and the undertone of it as well. Um, I'm running out of it, well I've ran out of it, but that just goes to show you. I've had this since last December, so six months and I'm now running out and I use it religiously and a little bit does definitely go a long way and I've had to learn that the hard way. And come on, you can't beat it. It's four bucks for this and it lasts, what, three, four months? So definitely for a low-end concealer, it is the bomb. Now the next fave that I have is my Black Opal foundation stick in the color Hazelnut. I really love it because of the coverage that it gives. Like it. I find that I use less, I do less color correcting when I use this foundation stick as opposed to my Maybelline matte uh, foundation. It also has sunscreen protection in it, SPF 15, which I think is really good. Any amount of protection that you can get from the sun, I'm all for. So I really like it. And the other thing is it's very travel convenient. Um, I. I don't have to worry about it leaking in my bag or anything like that. So to me, that is very important. Like I could just chuck it in my bag and I don't have to worry about making sure that it's sitting upright. And it's 13 bucks, so you can't really beat that. You know, it's 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 inexpensive and it works really well. Like I find it very compatible to higher end foundations. So yeah. Now the next product that I have is uh, the Ruby Kisses HD Setting Powder. Um, I have it in the color Rich and in the color Earth and the Rich I use as my base and the color Earth I use for my highlight. It just does a very subtle highlight. It's not anything too drastic. Um, I really like these because of the undertone. Like I find that with some setting powders they can come off really ashy whereas these I find that it's perfect for my skin color especially sometimes if I might go overboard with my highlight it just adds some warmth back into my face and they were really inexpensive and they do actually last all day which is something that i really love about them and they do offer very good coverage i would i would say you could wear this alone but i love the full glam look so i wear this um on top of my foundation and it goes on really smoothly as well so definitely if you haven't tried this give them a try 
Now, my next product is kind of like a highlight contour. Well, my next products are my highlight contour go-to uh, combination. And the first one I'll start with is my LA Colors Berry Plum. I bought this at, I think, the drugstore or the dollar store. And I really like it. It's an unconventional contour, but I find that it complements my skin tone really, really well. It's not your mundane brown contour. Um, I use it in the hollows of my cheek, my temple, as well as my jawline. And it does not look crazy on my skin tone, or at least the way I apply it. It kind of just like soaks into my skin really well. And then the next thing that I use on top of it is this. I, the color is Nika K, but I don't remember what brand it is. I'll leave all the information in the description box. But I love it because it has these orange, reddish, gold, tones in here and it's very brown girl friendly so I like to use it again in the hollows of my cheek and my temple I don't take it down to my jaw but I find that it's a very nice blush color that I just use to amplify my cheek contour and then I go in with my Billy bronzer this I did buy at the dollar store and I tried to go back to find it and I have not been able to I'm gonna try to see if I could go online to find it but what I really really like about this is that it's a very it's a great bronzer for dark skin girls. I find it very hard for me to find bronzers to actually complement my skin tone and most bronzers for me turn into highlights because they're just too light. But with this, I just find that it just gives my skin a really nice golden glow. Like you can barely see it, but it definitely just bronzes up my face and kind of goes with that whole golden goddess theme that I've been doing all summer. And it's more of a clay base, which I find just melts into your skin and it just seeps in really seamlessly. It is very fragile, like I bought it and it was like one solid thing, but I dropped it on the floor and then it kind of just broke out and yeah, so I definitely have to be careful using it, but unfortunately I'm running out and I really, really want to find it. So if anyone knows any dupes for it as well, just let me know, I just, and this was literally a dollar, like, Come on, where do they do that at? Like, I love, 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 love this. Uh, the next product I have is the Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner Pencil. And I really love this pencil for tight lining and even just putting it on my waterline or smoking out my um, eye color. The thing, I love, the thing I like about this pencil is that it does not smudge and it doesn't move. I have very easily irritated eyes and I find that whenever I put on eyeliner or even if I'm walking around and there's pollen and dander in the air, my eyes really start to water and then my um, eyeliner starts to smudge and it just like bleeds through. With this thing, your eyeliner is not going anywhere. Like I just love it so much. And it, it was only $3, like it's really worth the price. And the thing is, Look at this, like it is a black, 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 black. Like I love that about it. And I just love how dark it is. It just really makes the perfect smoky eye and you don't have to worry about it creasing on you all night or bleeding on you. Like you can even rub your eye and not have to worry about it going anywhere. Like it's the bomb. The next product I have is the Urban Decay uh, Setting Spray and everybody on YouTube was talking about this and so I decided to just see what the hype is about because I ran out of my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray and I must say I really love this. Like I've had all my makeup since 8 this morning so it's been over 8 hours and it has not moved. Like I've just had to powder my face because I was doing this video and I was a bit oily in my t-zones but other than that like my makeup has stayed in place all day and it does such a great job of just like setting your makeup into your skin and just making it look so flawless so this was definitely worth it like it was $17 at Sephora so definitely I'd say it was worth it because I bought this one for $13 and I have a love-hate relationship with this one sometimes it works sometimes I feel that it doesn't work that well but with this um, setting spray it's bomb like I really want to try their Scandinavian ones now because if it's anything like this I know I'm gonna love it now the next item I have is kind of like a splurge for me I don't normally buy perfumes uh, but I heard everyone again on YouTube raving about this so I was at Sephora and I just decided to pick it up I got it in the travel size simply because I'm the kind of person that 
I have a bunch of random perfumes laying around, not even half used because I just, my, my taste and sense changes so often that I don't really get to use up a bottle and I just feel like I'm wasting money just by getting the big one. And the other thing is because this is so travel friendly, you can just pop this in your purse and even when you're, you're traveling somewhere where you have to take an airplane, you don't have to worry about putting your stuff in your luggage and your suitcase and stuff. You can just simply put this in your carry-on because it's so small and Oh, I just love the smell like it's it's a really sophisticated womanly smell like it has sweet undertones like It's more of a musk. I would say But I really love it like I love smells like this So I definitely was happy that I bought it and this was $28 Which isn't bad the full size was a hundred dollars and I couldn't justify that because I know that I would never have used it up and I've had this for over a month now and I've used it religiously and I sprayed a lot and this is how much I've used so far so I definitely think that this will last me a really long time and I love it already. I definitely am happy with the money I spent on this. Okay. Now my next product is a hair product and it's the Jamaican Mango and Lime Black Castor Oil with Coconut Oil in it. I just really love to put it on my edges, my eyebrows, and my lashes just to make them thicker. I do have naturally thin hair, so I find that this product is really good for helping it thicken up. And I have been able to see a difference definitely in my edges and somewhat in my eyebrows, my lashes. Not too much because I have forgotten sometimes to use it and I'm going to get back into the habit of using it more. But I definitely recommend this and especially with the coconut oil because you get the benefits of the Jamaican black castor oil and the coconut oil as well and I find that the coconut oil helps to dilute it so it's not as thick and the smell it's coconut oil like I, I really like it it doesn't have your conventional Jamaican black castor oil smell it, it smells nice actually my next hair product is the got to be glued and this thing is bomb like I have 4C hair and I find that every other product that I've used to slick by my edges kind of just melt and they do absolutely nothing for my edges. This stuff, <sighs> your edges are going nowhere. Like this stuff slicks them back so, 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 so well and it lasts all day. And it says it's water resistant and it's true because I use this and I go to the gym and my edges are still laid. No matter how much I sweat, they're still like slick down. Um, the only thing with this is that it does sometimes leave a white residue so what I've done is I use this first and then I'll do my makeup that way my foundation and stuff can kind of cover it a bit but definitely watch out for the the white flakiness but other than that like I love this like if you're having problem a problem trying to find a product to lay your edges give this a try and look I've had this product for a couple years now and this is how much it's been used and I use it religiously so you buy this thing and it lasts you so so long and come on anything to lay them bad boys down you, you just gotta try it just try it take my word for it and last but not least uh, it's the Avon Skin So Soft in Satin Glow and it's an illuminating moisturizer for all skin tones I've been again in this golden goddess phase all summer long and I find that this is really really good for that. It has these little um, sparkles in it so I don't wear it every day. I don't wear it if I'm just running errands or if I'm going to work. I just wear it whenever I'm going out with friends or for a night out. Like if you're looking for a bronzed look, give this a try. I tend to put it on uh, not all over my body because I don't. I don't like the sparkles and I find that they stain my clothes so I'll put it on my shoulders, my chest, and my arms and legs that actually people can see and oh you just look so so yummy with this and again it is great for darker girls like myself so give it a try and it, it is really cheap like I think it was like six dollars or something. So those were just a few of my current fave products. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sorry if I mumbled a bit. I am tired. I just came from work, but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys. Um, also be on the lookout for another video I have coming up. It's going to be a... Um, it's going to be a work corporate world uh, lookbook. 
I just love watching those. I remember that Patricia Bright and Shirley B used to do them all the time. I just haven't seen any on YouTube in a while and I just thought that it would be fun to try to do my own with my own little twist to it. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And um, also if you guys have any suggestions for any concealers, I am on the hunt for a really good higher end concealer. I'm also looking at some of the higher end uh, eyeshadow palettes as well. I just want to kind of, you know, try them out and see how, how I like them and if there is a difference in the higher end versus lower end. And any other suggestions that you guys might have, I am definitely on the look for a bronzer, a clay bronzer that is close to this or even better than this so if you guys have any suggestions for that as well just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe rate the video and leave any comments or anything or any video ideas that you guys might want me to do as well and until next time bye